what it looks like. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all been doing super well. Welcome back. How have you been? Let me know in the comments. Today I'm going to be testing more TikTok made me buy it products. All the products TikTok did make me buy. TikTok forced my hand over to Amazon and forced me to check out. Yes, that's what happened. Um, we're just going to be testing lots of those products today. So Get ready, get yourself a cup of tea, and we're just gonna jump into the pile that is next to me. This necklace I tested in a TikTok, and that TikTok went a little bit mad. Like, just a tad bit mad. I fully blame TikTok for making me buy this. I saw a video of a nurse talking about how when she's at work, she can't wear her engagement ring, and she doesn't wanna thread it through her necklace, so she got this. I'm very intrigued. Oh, it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's huge. So you put it on like this, you thread it through. <gasps> That's very, very clever. Can it come off though? It's so cute. I don't remember her showing how it came off. I've since had a lot of comments on the TikTok that I made being like, nurses aren't allowed to wear necklaces. But this one was. I actually since think I found out she's a surgeon, maybe not a nurse. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that she was talking about something to do with doctoring. And she was saying that she couldn't wear her ring and she didn't want to thread it through onto a necklace, which as in she didn't want to take the necklace off, thread it through, put the necklace back on. And she found this. This is freaking genius. You just loop your ring on and it sits on there and it sits on there nicely and it doesn't like ping off it doesn't move around it lays flat to your chest as opposed to like sideways and awkwardly it means that you don't have to take the necklace on and off to put the ring on and off and i just think it's i just think it's genius and i will have a link to it in my description because i freaking love it this is an ice cube maker i think it was Hannah Maloche, maybe, did like a day in my life vlog and used teeny tiny baby ice cubes and I was like, oh, they look so cute, I need some. So I immediately bought this. So here we are, our ice cube tray is all ready. It looks like the ice cubes are like bulging, just a little bit, let me show you. Can you see that they're bulging? Just a little bit, they're just really trying to get out. So I have my little dish here. And we're just going to crack these into there. Oh, they're so ditty and cute. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look how cute this little ice cube is. They are so cute. I've never called an ice cube adorable before, but this is an adorable ice cube set. Some of these really don't want to come out. I honestly don't know the best way to get these out. Like, I'm wiggling this around. Can you come out, please? Please? I'm gonna break an egg. <gasps> Unbelievable. You couldn't have timed that better. I'm just gonna leave that there. So I will now have just the three nails on this finger. I kind of want to build a mini igloo. Look at them. Lovely little bit of ASMR for you. Okay, yes can definitely see myself using this over and over and over again. These are so cute and they're so easy to fill as well. Oh my goodness. It's genius. I'm in love. Yes. Thank you. And we're moving on. I kept seeing this pop up on my TikTok. So I went ahead, purchased it. It took ages to come and it's come a little squash. I'm so scared. I'm just going to break it. Does this come out? Are you sure? Oh, oh, oh. It's gone, but I can't find it in my hair. Where is it? <laughs> There it is! Boom! Ah! I just want them everywhere! Look at my sparkly hair! As you can see, I've got all of the little gems in my hair. They look very cute. All I will say is that because I always flip my fringe from one side to the other, the ones that are in my fringe tug a little bit because my hair is obviously being stuck together. But they look so cute. I would love to wear these in my hair for a festival slash if I went back to being a child. That would be amazing. I just wanted to show you this thing up close. So it's called the Bling Bling. I will have links to everything down below. It did take a long time to come and this is what the box looks like. This arm underneath pushes forward. So it's just constantly turning the circle round. And then this little arm pushes down into 
where the gem sits. This is what the gem sheet looks like. And on the back of these gems, they don't act, they are like open bottomed with sort of a straw hole around them. So if I touch this, it is sticky on this side of the gem. And then that little arm just pushes the gem through and onto your hair. And you just clip, clip, clip away. It's so cute. I love it. Now I'm wondering, do I just have to find each of them and individually pick them off? Ow! These kind of come as a little bit of a set, mainly because I saw this thing and then these two things were suggested to me. So I bought all three of them, tested them all out. We're gonna start with this little watermelon ball, which is possibly my least favorite of the three of them. It said online that you fill it with water and then it acts like a basketball underwater so you can dribble it and you can like bounce it and throw it and it kind of did. So I bought this and I believe you meant to fill this up with water. This is what it looks like. Um, I can see where they were going with it and while it was fun there wasn't much more you could do with it. You could kind of maybe play basketball with it, but it would be a very, very slow game of basketball. So what we ended up doing, which was far more fun, was chucking this thing, which is super heavy because it was filled with water, just launching it into the air and seeing if we could catch it. I could not catch it. <laughs> As I said, I bought this because it was suggested to me. It was recommended by Amazon and I bought it and all I remember seeing was that it bounces on water. So I bought this, <laughs> went in the pool and just tried bouncing it and it just sinks. And I think they meant to bounce on water. Go on. Really? I don't really know though. Go on. <laughs> oh, they're great. It does not bounce on water if you do this. What this does do, which is very fun, is if you skim it, it bounces and you may be thinking, Jasmine, I cannot skim anything. Neither can I. In my entire life, I don't think I've ever managed to skim a rock. This thing, I can skim it and it bounces along the water. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Not so far away, ready? That's pretty good. Yeah. I love this. For years, my family have loved playing volleyball slash beach ball slash what's it called with a little bat like not ping pong but like kind of ping pong but without a table just a little beach ball i don't know we've loved playing that and we've never had a net so it's always been a kind of is that your side is that my side who really knows this genius love this so this requires blowing up which dad decided we would do with the car pump didn't know that was a thing just joined him for it though why not and then it comes with these little bags which I'm not too sure what you're meant to fill with because we initially filled them with water but there are holes in the bottom and the water didn't do much so we ended up putting a couple of rocks in there blooming great though a lot of fun we played a lot of volleyball over this and we freaking loved it so this is a yes it does also come with a ball but we were just using the balls that we already had this I'm excited to test this is a deep fat fixer when you're finished with oil you can pour this stuff into the oil and it will solidify it so that you can then just put it in the bin. Now this is great because I don't often fry things in a lot of oil, but every now and again when I film certain videos, I do. And then I'm like, I don't know what to do with this oil because you're not meant to put it down the sink, fine. You can just put it in the bin, but it's just fully liquid. So I'm like, then it's just gonna go everywhere. So then I'm thinking maybe if I soak it up with some tissue, but then that's just a waste of tissue. And then people are like, oh, pour it into a jar and then throw the jar. But I'm like, I like to recycle my jar. So this seems genius and I'm excited to test it out. Okay, so it says I'll probably need around half a packet. So I'm just gonna pour roughly half in. Then we're just gonna give it a stir. Stir it until it's dissolved. Oh, it is dissolving. Oh my gosh, it's like wax. It's definitely thickened up the oil. Like the oil feels a lot thicker to glide the spoon through. I'm not too sure whether this is finished yet, so I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer, but it is already solid. I mean, it's not solid solid, it's kind of soft solid. It feels a little bit like a candle that's about to melt, 
but it's pretty darn solid. Ew, it looks like the the stuff at the end of Spam. Do you know that jelly stuff? Like in a pork pie? Yeah. Uh, oh dear. Oh god. I don't, I don't see this working. <laughs> right. So that's really good then. So you've just broken our spatula. <laughs> I just... Is it worth it, Jazz? Oh, we've got movement. Okay, brilliant. So now this should just come out as one, no? The next product is something that I kind of tested ages ago with... Do you remember there was a hack where you used like a dressing gown tie and put it round and twist your hair? And I think I tested that in a vlog ages and ages and ages ago. But then I bought the official, well not the official, but one of the solid versions of that and tested it and it went terribly. Please excuse my makeup in the TikTok that you're gonna see. Um, I had just finished filming this TikTok when I started filming this TikTok. So my makeup's just a mess, but basically it was solid. Like it was like a proper piece of foam and I put it in and I went to bed and I had the worst night's sleep ever. I had the worst night's sleep. Like I couldn't move, I couldn't lean side to side. But then I woke up the next morning, took it out, and the results weren't exactly the most exciting thing. It wasn't the best. I'm going to sneeze. Wait. It's gone. This um, was a product that TikTok didn't make me buy. David Dobrik made me buy while I was on TikTok. Um, this is apparently called a Pindaloo and it's just a little ball game. I saw David Dobrik playing with it and I was like, I want to have a go. Here it is. It looks like a, it looks like a toilet tube. <laughs> and I believe there's a little ball in it. I mean, he made this look easy. You drop this and it pops out that end. Where's the ball go? Wait, there it is. This is the thing a little bit closer up. It's just like a hollow tube. And this is the ball. It's quite a weighty ball. It looks like it would be more like a ping pong ball, but it's quite a solid it's a solid ball it's more like a little golf ball this is talent and i don't have this talent on the box it's like oh learn tricks and you can go in do a, a figure of eight and back in i don't know how you're doing that but sure i have yet to master just the basics nope one two three oh, oh, wait wait i was getting that one two Nope. One. Wait. One. No. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna stop it there. I got four in a row. I'm so happy with myself. Woo! I filmed it like this. Um, then I got Nick to test it and he automatically did this. And I was like, that's way better. And oh, I was about to say easier. Not easier, apparently. Wait. That's yeah. way easier. Yeah. I was doing this. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty much just gonna ruin my makeup, but I've seen quite a few people talking about this. I heard before this came out, a lot of people um, using the Got To Be spray, um, spraying it onto like something, then using that for their eyebrows. And then they invented this or created this which is an eyebrow gel now my eyebrows are pretty strong they really like going that way they do not like being up i once managed soap brows insert picture here but that took me a long time and i had soap all over my face so i'm really really excited to test this um ooh. But I just don't see it working. I'm wondering how close I can get so you can see me and my brow. And I need a mirror because I can't see anything. Okay. It looks like it's kind of working, but they're just not staying. Look, they're this length and then they sort of fall down. This is better than any other brow gel that I've used, but they're still not staying. <gasps> Wait, if I squash them, no. They're just not staying. Am I using too much? Am I being too harsh? Am I being too soft? Am I using too little? 
Why won't you stay up? I need some tips. I need some tips quite badly. I'm just not very good at it. I do realize you're meant to do it with no product on, but all I've got in my brows is like a little bit of pencil. So I mean, it should work really. And I've seen people using it and it's worked and they've said that it's amazing. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Please let me know. In the meantime, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up for me. It makes me super happy. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.